All right, here we are on the conclusion of the Ford FE heads. Notice how they've got a little bit rusted up. Well, that's where they sit over time. And um, just not getting back where I'm finishing the things up. And I don't mind saying that this is probably when, been one of the toughest combustion chamber jobs. And I did everything in my power to get the current heart shape style shape out of a set of heads that was made in 1960 and I don't believe I've done that bad of a job myself but what we're getting ready to do right now is I got my um, cross buck pad these were already polished to uh, 300 grit paper and I'm going to go in here with my cross buck and go ahead and, and pull the final polish out Okay, as you can see, it done a pretty good job. Let's get a better look at it. And uh, I finished this up. Now I'm ready to go in there. All the porting has been done out of the heads. It took a 20cc hit. Um, it's paper thin in the intake runner now. The exhaust, I raised the roof quite a bit. But uh, I'm going to wait till we CC the chambers and then after the valve job's done, I'm going to re-CC the intake and give us the final volume of this awesome Stage 4 Ford FE head. This is not the baddest one I've ever done, but I'd say it ain't far from it. Uh, there's a welding trick I do on the roof of the ports that really kicks it in the ass to make it a real screamer, but... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, hit the polishing of the chambers, re-clean everything up there on the deck, clean up the ports, and then we're getting ready to do the valve job. I've already put the bronze guides in it and custom size them. Got some great valves, 2100 and 1650, I believe, are the diameters. So let's go ahead and conclude it, and then we're going to have to reset the bowls again. Remember me telling you about that. After you do the valve job, you got to go back in there and do the damn bowls again, reset that, and blend it because the 60 or 70 degree seat will mess up the bowl transition. So, uh, and we get to carry it to the customer tomorrow. I was going to try to get this on film. If I'm not able to get it on film tomorrow, uh, he, after he gets the heads, this is a local job, after he gets the heads ready to bolt on, we're going to film the car and process when he starts it up and, and gets it running and everything and do some test running and uh, see what kind of power my work got over what it was. I'll let you have the customer's first-hand words on it. So, I am hope I'm up for the challenge. All right. No, I'm starting to get where I know a lot of my re right readers and people that follow me and everything. So, if y'all know me, y'all are starting to know. I hope nobody takes that I'm some kind of braggart and thinks I'm some kind of badass because I just don't see myself that way. But I'm going to have to take a break for that for a minute because, y'all, I am really proud of this. Look what I have done. I did some of the polishing in the chamber, but I left the surface so that it blackens out. The only thing that's really shining is the chamber. Let me see if I can get a little more close up. But look at that. I mean, it ain't just me, of course. This is what I try to tell people. When I say, all right, go to the smaller chambers and it leaves all this meat so I can carve the shape that I want. But look at the consistency. But look, this is a 1960 model cylinder head. Look at that lay, the heart shape that I carved into it, pulled it out, lowered it, and got out of it. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I know this is old technology. It's 1960. But this just knocks my socks off, guys, that I was able to get a shape like this in this here. I mean, it's this has to be one of the one of the better ones that I've done. 
that I took some old iron and put 2014 technology into this cylinder head. Of course, when I put the valves in it and get it all in there, it's going to look really nice. But I mean, I just cannot tell you. I wish you were standing here beside me to see this. But this is just damn incredible. Uh, nothing from that time frame even comes close to this. So, Ford, I'm going to have to give you two thumbs up, buddy. Y'all had an idea. Y'all didn't get quite get it right, but you were damn close to making a shape that was 30 to 40 years ahead of your time. And this right here just speaks it. There will be no chamber shrouding on this head. I just wish it wasn't going up. This is going on a 390, which we're going to be covering the car that it's going on. We're going to let the, the driver of the car tell you how it is, if I've done a good job, what power expectations. This is going to be the, the first real true test of head bite cylinder head with me filming the car, putting it on there and running it. He's going to have a cross ram on it and then a blower. He's also going to blow it. So anyway, I just wanted to share a, a personal moment with y'all. This really gets me. I have, went, <laughs> I have went in here and did that to this, and it just kills me. All right, I'll, we'll get back on the valve job in a minute now. Thank you.